Hi everyone, and welcome to Sacred Geometry, Language of the Universe. My name is Seth, and I'm here to share Sacred Geometry with the whole world. First, I would like to thank you for your support, for your subscriptions, for your likes, and for your comments. It means a lot to me, and it does encourage me to make more videos for this channel. My passion for Sacred Geometry has changed my life, and it has helped me a lot, and I want to share that with all of you. Today, I will address a new sacred geometry shape that many of you have requested. This shape has been adopted by many cultures and it is called the Triketra. The word Triketra simply means triangle or three-cornered triangle, which translates to Triketris in Latin. In Christianity, this shape has been used as a religious symbol representing the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This form represents the unification of these three entities, if you will, and that's why they call it the Holy Trinity. In the Celtic tradition, the Triketra used to represent the land, the sea, and the sky. It is considered to be one of the oldest symbols out there dating back to as early as 500 BC. In a cultic tradition, they believe that everything in this world came in threes. For example, the three stages of life, life, death, and rebirth, the three phases of time, past, present, and future. We also have in spirituality, body, mind, and soul. Sometimes the traditional Triketra symbol is accompanied by a circle. The circle is often interlaced with the Triketra, which represents the bond between the three elements. In addition, the circle in many belief systems is used to depict eternity. Now this is all very interesting, but I'm going to show you why the Triketra is designed in such a way so as you can see here, we're going to take the Vesica Pisces and we're going to use it as a reference. So if you haven't watched the episode of the Vesica Pisces, feel free to watch it because it's going to be a prerequisite to understanding how the Triketra is formed. We already see the number 3 showing here before the formation of the Triketra. The circle on the left is 1, the circle on the right is 2, and then the intersection of the two circles, or the Vesica Pisces, is number three. So number three represents creation, the start, the beginning of something new. Source is not satisfied with this. It's not satisfied with the creation of the Vesica Pisces. It wants to expand even further, and it decides to create a third circle to expand itself even more, or to experiment, or to experience more aspects of existence, or more aspects of life. And now we have, as you can see in the screen, we have three circles. But if we delete some of the lines that are intersecting with each other within these three circles, you get the Triketra. But why three? Why three circles? Why not four circles? In spirituality, three represents the Ascended Masters, and Jesus died at 33. In the occult and in spirituality, number three keeps coming up quite often. It is associated with mastery, divinity, and expansion. Let's consider that the left circle is the male aspect and the right circle is the female aspect. Now when these two aspects form the Vesica Pisces, you can give birth to balance, harmony, respect, integrity, equality. But if you want to expand even further, the creation of a third circle, number three, here in this example represents the child. The three of them 
represents the completion of creation. But I want to bring your attention to something here which I mentioned in the beginning. So if we put a triangle around the triketra, as you can see here, the triangle fits perfectly on top of the triketra, which has 60 degrees on each corner, which is 60 times 3 equals 180, 1 plus 8 equals 9. And number 9 in numerology is the number of completion, it means the end of a cycle. If we take number 9 and divide it by 3, the corner of the triangles, we get number 3, which is the number of the triketra. So as you can see, even in numerology, everything makes sense between the number 3, 9, and 6, which are divine, magical numbers that are quite mysterious. And I'm going to talk about these numbers in another episode in more details. Triketra has also been used in the Wiccan tradition and spirituality. It is used to represent the triple goddess as a protective symbol. In the Slavic tradition, it is believed that if you wear the symbol of the Triketra, you can protect your aura from the evil eye. In the Iron Age, around 4th century BC, this triketra form was also connected to another very similar form which is called the triskelion or triskelion. I hope you enjoyed this episode about the triketra. Thanks again for watching, I really appreciate it. And thank you for your subscription, for your likes, for your comments. It means a lot to me. Feel free to ask me any questions you have about the Triketra or about sacred geometry. Thank you, and I will see you in the next episode.